Thank you so much for coming. My name is Zainab Fisher, but you can call me Z. I always tell whatever me people call me Z as zebra, so it's easy. The letters. <laughs> I am originally from West Africa, Sierra Leone. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Sierra Leone from West Africa. Um, I'm also self-taught vegan chef because of my husband, because of his um, cancer 13 years ago. So I basically just taught myself how to make stuff and books also being African Lebanese. So we love to cook, we love to eat. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, yeah. So today we're doing two different, um, two different um, uh, recipes here. One is the cake, um, avocado kale and the other one is the um, hummus, raw hummus made from mixed beans. So I'm sure some of you might see this at Whole Foods and he's like, what am I supposed to do with this besides just throw it on a salad? Well, you can make hummus with it and it's so good. And I use it to make the hummus and I use it to make um, also uh, the raw falafel and I dehydrate it. It's, it's, uh, it's just like the mixed beans you can get from Whole Foods. Yeah, I think, I think Sean sells it too. Um, it's all, it's, um, it's sprouted and it's raw. So yeah, it's very good. I love it. So we're going to start by making first the hummus, so it's basic, I'm sure you guys have the ingredients, I'm not sure if Paul gave you guys the ingredients, I mean, so, but I am not going to measure anything since you guys have the ingredients, I'm just going to um, just eyeball everything so it's easier because of the time wise. And so as we go, and if you have any questions, ask if I can answer or anything, or maybe I'll transfer it to Nurse Tom <laughs> as I'm making the food. So, so we have a cuisine of course. Some of us have a Cuisinart, some of us doesn't, but if you don't, it's good to have a Cuisinart <laughs> just because you can do so many stuff with it. So, okay, so I'm just gonna put the mix, the beans in the, in the Cuisinart here. Since there's plenty of us, I'm just gonna use both containers so we can all have a little bit of, we can try it out. And I'm also a private, I'm also a private chef and um, I'm also um, a guest chef on Fox 29, if you guys saw me on Fox, I'm also one of the guest chefs that's going to be going and do some stuff for them too, so I was, I was there last year, on, live on TV. <laughs> I'm more nervous here than when I was on TV, to be honest, I'm like, okay, you think you have all the cameras, I'm like, and I was like, okay, I'll see for like, but it's good. So I have the beans in, so who likes garlic? Yeah. All right, so we're going to put maybe about three large clove of garlic. You don't have to cut anything because everything is everything is going to mix in together so don't waste time cutting the, the garlic or put it in or anything so but if you want to that's fine if you want to just you know if you don't want too much of it but you're not even going to taste you're going to bl yes sir like a real silly question because i'm not cook. that's okay but why um do you peel the garlic why wouldn't you eat, eat the whole thing including the, the outside everything? well you know, of course, when they have this, this skin on it, it's going to be harder for you to swallow <laughs> and to digest. So you just take the skin off and you just have the clove of itself, which it's easier to, to eat. <laughs> so good question, though. So it's easy to mash. Right, the paper, right? So you're going to be harder, like feel like you're choking. So, <laughs> yeah. So how many of you guys know um, tahini? Use tahini? Yeah. Awesome. Sesame seeds. So I'm just going to, again, I'm just going to eyeball the tahini and there's so many different kinds of tahini out there so you just go with what you like but I like to make sure it's raw tahini when you do um, when you do um, the, the, the hummus and also it's good too to make desserts with it so you can do a dessert so that's good enough okay cumin Anyone familiar with cumin? Yeah. All right. See, this is good group. <laughs> you guys all got A plus. Don't worry. <laughs> so I'm j again, I'm just gonna eyeball because I like I like the smokiness of the cumin because I grew up with it. My grandmother used to make it, and it makes everything taste good. If you have Indian food, it's good. Curry. Yeah. This is this is like an exotic hummus, so it's not like the plain one you get from Whole Foods. So these are making a little bit of exotic, so you get a little bit of more flavor into it. Um, so this is the curry that I like to use because they have a little spice into it, but not so much. <laughs> if you don't want to use curry, that's fine. You don't have to use. You can you can use the cumin and allspice, which is good too. But I just love all the the smell. It just ooh ah. Black pepper, 
Again, just a little touch because we don't want it to be too spicy. Not everyone can handle spicy food. I know I can. He can't. <laughs> He's like pouring sweat <laughs> like he took a whole bath or something. He does. Um, so um, lemon or lime, I like to use either. Whatever you have in hand, that's fine. It doesn't have to be like, oh, I don't have lemon. It's not going to be the same. It's going to taste the same, really, to be honest. Just cut. This one doesn't have any seeds. So that's good. Basically, it's all, it's easy. You just put everything in the cuisiner and it, it just does, you know, does the job for you. And you just have to wash it later. Here's the dishwasher. <laughs> Sometimes. I found this seed in here. But it's okay, the seed is good. Got some good stuff in it. And if you don't want to use the mixed beans, it's okay. You can use, um, you can use the chickpeas too. If you don't, if you don't have time to sprout it, you can always, Whole Foods sells it. You can get the organic, the organic chickpeas from the from the um, can, but make sure you rinse it up first because they have a lot of salt in it. <coughs> if you don't have time to sprout, so you don't want to eat all these beans and you worry about your digestion, they're gonna give you gas. Or so just get the regular um, chickpeas. It's pretty good. It works. So that's what they use basically. Salt. I'm just gonna use just a pinch of salt. Oops. Sorry. I always made a mess. That's what cooking is all about. You make mess. <laughs> That's what my grandmother said. If you don't make a mess, you don't cut your finger, the food doesn't taste good. <laughs> you have to see something. <laughs> that's my African and Lebanese grandmother. So that's it. Olive oil, this is the one I like to use. So if you don't want to use olive oil, you can use avocado oil, you can use emseed oil, it's okay. But I like, to, I like the taste of the olive oil because it just gives it a little nuttiness and it's, it's, um, it's cold pressed and it's organic, which is good. So you don't need much, really. Just a little touch. Okay. Can you give me some water, please? Because we're going to need some water to blend it up a little bit. Okay. And I like to use a little bit of onion. This is my Lebanese grandmother's recipe. So sometimes you don't find onion on, on hummus, but Onion, yeah, red onions. Yeah, it gives it a flavor. Absolutely, it's pretty good. But if you don't like onions, don't put onions in it. It's okay. It's not gonna hurt you. That one, of course, I'm gonna chop just a little bit. Not much. It doesn't have on the recipe how, how much uh, sprouted beans you put in. The sprouted bean, I just use like the whole container. I, you, you can use one or two. It depends. Um, it is here, um, six ounces. Yes, six ounces. Yes. But if it's just you, just use one. Um, so if you have a big group, you can double, you know, you can double the ingredients, so you can always decrease the ing ing ingredients, so it's okay. Right, that you can do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I make a lot of FIFA clients, I double the ingredients, so which is good. So with water again, I'm just going to eyeball the water because again, you go with, you know, if you like it creamy or if you like it watery and light so I didn't put the amount of the water because some people like it to be thick and some people like it to be too water so I like it in between so you can always add water as you go on to see and that's it oh we got the onions okay my grandmother actually said you make sure you put the onions I was like oh okay I forgot the onions on the recipe so if you guys didn't see onions that you can add yeah Grandmother's always knows best. They wanted to make sure it stays good. You go according to what you like. Some people like less, some people like more. So it depends on how much onions you like. But for this, what would you say? Um, maybe about a quarter or so. Yeah, yeah. For me, I like onions, so I'd probably use half of it if I was home making it, but I don't know about everybody else. I don't want to put too much, so yeah. And now we're just gonna put on the machine, make sure it works. <laughs> Yay, it's working. So you're just going to blend everything up. Um, until it, so you can add more water as you go on, as you can see, to help it mix. Okay. And sometimes just like this, and I just put in a dehydrator and I got falafel, raw falafel. 
that's it. And now you can just taste it too. Yeah, you just put parsley or cilantro. That will be another class. <laughs> I don't want to give you guys too much because <laughs> I want you guys to come back. <laughs> so, get more thing. Now, I like mine in between. I don't like it too creamy, so I like a little bit of crunchiness to it. Or like again, you can do it creamy if you like. But I like to bite into the to the to the beans a little bit. So I'm just gonna taste to make sure you got all the seasoning. Need more, a little more lemon. That's what I'm saying with the ingredients. You, you taste as you go on because then you can add more. You can be like, I need more lemon, I need more garlic, I need more salt. So it depends on how you like stuff, really. Just like when you watch the cooking shows, which way you put tons of butter. Yeah. I'm like, I can use olive oil instead of butter. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little more salt. That's good. Make sure it doesn't squish on anyone. And you can make this ahead of time too. When if you have time, it's good for potluck. It's good for like for wraps. So it's good for you know if you have friends you're trying to watch what you eat. And we know the beans are really good. We've got the protein, the fiber, and the omega. So it's all in there, which is great. Yes, go ahead. Mm -hmm. How long would that last? The hummus? Uh -huh. It will last you about a week. Sorry. Yeah, in my house it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like I said, I just put in the dehydrator as a, as a falafel. So it lasts about a week or so. When you make sure you put it in a glass container and make sure that it's, no, no, some, you, you don't put your finger in it because then you're going to lose the taste and it's not going to taste good anymore, even less than a week. Because sometimes we have families and friends like, mm -hmm. with the finger inside of the spoon. So. <laughs> That's it. I actually make big batches at home too, and mm -hmm. it freezes really well. Right, so yeah. 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 It's yeah. nice because you go to a preparation, especially if you're soaking your beans. Well, you do. Yeah, you sprout in. Yeah, you you sprout like in. A couple pounds of them, mm -hmm. it all up. And just this is what it looks like when it's down. We're going to have some for lunch, or I'm not sure how Paul wants to do it, if he wants tasting or wait for lunch. So I'll just wait for him. OK. Hmm? For lunch, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll make it a little thicker and then I'll add more ingredients to it. Oh, yeah. Okay. But this is actually pretty good and I just have to put it in a free in a refrigerator for about about thirty minutes or an hour and just all the ingredients just set in a little bit and then it's easier. You just scoop it and it's not watery. Yeah, it's easier that way to do. And it's, yes, ma'am. The cilantro, yes. The cilantro is right here. And we all know what cilantro is good for. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> and it's already been washed, so. To take out heavy metal. Mm -hmm. I like to keep. I don't like to like. I like to keep some of the um, the stems on because they still have. And I save them for juicing too. It's good. Yes. If you don't want to use a lot of cilantro, that's fine. You don't have to. You can just use a little bit. But usually, I just cut the cilantro up and I just put it and I just mix it up. Sometimes, if I forget. I'm glad you remind me. So that's good enough. Love the cilantro. Can you guys smell the cilantro? No. So good too so for um if you have too much garlic, you eat the cilantro, it's going to help for the breath. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah, so guys, if you guys want some help yourself. So, so this is done. I'm just going to push it on the side. And then we're going to get to it. Um, any other question before we get to the next dish? 
And this is good too to make wrap. If you got like the collard green wraps, you can put it on your collard green wraps. You put the avocado, the tomatoes, the onions, the peppers, and that's good too. Yeah, some people don't know and how should I, you know, what to do with the wrap or. And now we're doing the kale. So how many people have an avocado kale salad? <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, it's really good and it's so easy too. So, okay, so in the kale, this is already been washed, and my my lovely husband just helped me took them off the stem, <laughs> give them some work to do. So, so what I do, I, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, and if you can, so you can just like just chop it a couple times, and so that way, you just some people don't. I know I have a client who think this is too big for her to chew, so I have to cut it. So, but is kale naturally bitter or my ranch? Um, it if, yeah, so well, not too taste, bitter, right? not so. I mean, it still got some little bit of flavor to it. That's why you you know you jazz it up with some ingredients and like you make like yeah. Do you guys want me to cut it up, or this is good? Do you guys like it this size? Is yeah okay, perfect. So again, the kale. Um, again, you, you know, it depends on how much kale you eat. To be honest, so I'm not enjoying the kale, but like you have the you have the ingredient the uh, recipes in there. It's okay. So this is I would say maybe about what two bunch or something. Uh, it's uh, about two bunches. Yeah. A little bit okay. Uh, what we're gonna do is when you're done with your recipe, mm -hmm. instead of giving out samples, mm -hmm. we're serving lunch right afterwards. Mm -hmm. So we made a space on the table for your, your recipes, and okay. you can take samples of our tasting. Right. Ready. Sounds good. Okay. So okay. Just, just let me know when you're ready, and I'll help you bring it in. Huh? Okay. Maybe you can bring that for me, please. The hummus is done. Thank you. And again, kale is so good for you too. And also what I do with the kale, I made kale chips with it too. I dehydrated it so good. It's easy. You just put olive oil and salt and pepper and just put it in the dehydrator. Or for me, I put other stuff in it. But So I have, you know, as you can see, it's a see-through glass. It's all in one bowl, so it's easy. Just one bowl, put everything, massage it, and it's done. <laughs> it's easy for me. And I have the kale in here, avocado. Now, if you don't want to use avocado, you worry about the, you know, the fat, like wow, or you're allergic to avocado, use tahini. Yeah, just use tahini. Same ingredient, just take out the, the avocado and just use the tahini, the basic <coughs> Because I have some clients that, small knife, allergic to avocado, so they like the avocado salad, so I use a tahini sauce. <laughs> um, it depends on how creamy you like it, maybe about two to three tablespoons or so. So yeah, it depends on how creamy it's. So. I think I'll probably use maybe about two avocado for that, for this size. Yes, sir? Wouldn't you use the um, seed of the avocado? Because the seed is hard. You can't buy it and sow it. <laughs> but you can grow the seeds. Yeah. In Africa, we used to actually eat the seeds as our um, our teeth to clean our teeth and it's very very and it's um yeah a lot of nutrients in it that's what we used to do that would be no <laughs> you speed it up <laughs> it's gonna be hard <laughs> yes yeah, so. yeah yeah my grand my grandfather used to have his big knife and just chop it up we just use it for uh, that's our toothbrush yeah. it makes our teeth Hmm? You probably need a machete to cut up. Yeah. Oh, you just, if you have a strong tooth, bite into it, it's okay. You know. So we have the avocado. I have a clean spoon. So I'm just going to scoop out the avocado and just put it. And this is also, you can make it ahead of time too and just have it. It will last you for like two to three days or so. And if you don't want to, if you have guests coming over, you don't want to mix it right away. You just put all the ingredients on top of it and then you can just massage it later and just mix it up later. Yeah, because you don't want it to get too soggy, even though, well, you know, it's not going to be soggy, but it depends. Um, you put um, lemon or lime on top of it and you cover it with a plastic wrap and it's so the color doesn't change. 
that's the way I do it at home. And if you just cut it and you just leave it on the table for like five, ten minutes, it's going to change brown. <laughs> Okay, garlic yeah. again. So this time I'm going to chop the garlic. Do you usually buy the out of battle to green them and wait for them to ripen? It depends, yeah. You know, if it's already ripe and I just buy them and I use them. If I'm going to make a dessert and it's ripe or if, or if it's not and I just bring it home and I just use them for dessert so I use it for something else. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put two cloves of garlic, or again you can put less. You guys are so quiet. <laughs> garlic. Mm. <laughs> Let's be happy for garlic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Cumin. <laughs> you guys are funny. I'm just a crazy person, that's all. But in a good way, not in a bad way. <laughs> yep, I'm going to mix it all up. Onion. Again, see, you don't have to put much of onion. Will the avocado be falling apart in there? Yep, yeah, it's going to be, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And it's so easy. This is good too to take to potluck, like again, when you have a party or you just wanna um, just wanna have something for yourself, or you wanna impress your friends or your coworkers. I used to when I used to work in the hospital, I used to make this and bring it. And people that don't like salad, they would actually eat the <laughs> avocado because it has avocado in it. So they're like, oh, avocado! I'm like, oh, that's the that's the only reason you're gonna eat it. <laughs> yeah, it's the avocado. Yeah. Salt, mm -hmm. olive oil. You don't want to put too much. Okay. These are tomatoes. They already been washed. I'm gonna put them at the end, but I just want to cut them up and just get them ready. Usually, I use the little baby tomatoes, and I don't cut them. I just drop them in. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Whole Food didn't have the little ones. Whole paycheck, I call Whole Food. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They are. Do you use a vegetable wash sometimes? I make sure everything is organic. If I don't, yes, we have vegetable wash at home. Mm -hmm. And I, yeah, I soak them in water. There's different coconut based ones that are good to get all mm -hmm. pesticides and things. Mm -hmm. The environmental working group you can go to their website and see what's less sprayed or more sprayed. Mm -hmm. so you can make decisions if you want to get organic. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You can do that. <laughs> okay. So now we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna massage it now. Just put a, a little bit of black pepper. So you just take, you just use your hands are always the best tools. That's what my grandmother says. You just massage as you go on, massage it. Don't be afraid. It's okay. Lucky Kale getting a massage. I wish I was getting a massage. <laughs> it's okay. You make sure you get all the seasoning, everything, all the avocado with the kale, so you can bite into the avocado and also taste the kale too. Do you also work over at the No. <laughs> That's I don't you know, I don't leave that to my husband. I um uh, no. <laughs> And this is good too to make with your kids because then you can teach them and they can just help you massage and get it so that they can just um, get involved and see how it's done instead of just, ooh, kale, I don't want it. Then you can just add whatever you, they want to it. Yeah. And that's it. And a good thing too, you can put this in the dehydrator too and dehydrate it just like that. There's so many ways you can do kale chips, <laughs> you know, so yeah. So 
I don't use nutrition yeast. Yeah, even when I do my cheese or desserts, I don't use. It's just harder to digest. You know, so the I just. Things we talked about earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. It gives it a little bit of different flavor, but she does hers that kind of blows that one away. <laughs> <laughs> and I just yeah. put the tomatoes on top just to give it a little color. I'm not going to mix it in because I don't want the tomato to be too mushy, to be all watery. So you just put it on top. And then, and that's it. The, you know, the kale, they have a calcium in the kale, which is good, the chlorophyll. And it's, you can use it in your juice. And that's it. Thank you. <laughs> so I give you guys some, you know, ways to also do kale. And besides just eating like this, also just dehydrate it too. <laughs> do you have any ideas what you can use with like the croutons? It tastes just like croutons. Yes, you can use different kinds of nuts. Yeah, you can you can grind the nuts and then dehydrate them, season and dehydrate them, and you get like crouton taste, come nice and crunchy. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Next class, I'll be doing more stuff, how to make the pizza and, and cheese and other stuff. Yes. Okay. Make sure leaves don't grow. Thank you. Yeah, that's how Tom's lunch like that too. And if you have any nut like this, you can just put some on the top too if you want extra crunchiness too. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of the, um, the hemp seed on top of it. I don't want to put it now because I don't want it to be too soggy. So I'm just going to sprinkle it at the top once so yeah. So I didn't forget about the hemp seed. I know it's there. <laughs> I heard someone say, you forgot the hemp seed. Like, I remembered. So, so yeah, that's about it. It's simple, it's easy. It doesn't take maybe what? 30 minutes how to make two dishes in one so you know so that's why most yeah, people so don't realize like making raw food you just have all the ingredients and you know it doesn't take us you know and Harvard MIT you know <laughs> genius to learn how to make you know a simple easy salad you can just put it together and then you're done and it's tastier so yeah <laughs> thank you guys so much so Come out of the world, oh my people, seek the truth, avoid the evil, learn Yahweh's ways, Torah life ministries, come out of the world, 